want to know why, ask how. Howard the Humongous. The Senate Judiciary Committee under Democrat Dick Durbin and Republican Lindsey Graham held a hearing Wednesday, January 31st, that the committee advertised as the first time a group of big tech CEOs will testify on online child sexual exploitation. The CEOs included Meta's Mark Zuckerberg, TikTok's Shu Chu, X's Linda Vaccarino, Snap's Evan Spiegel, and Discord's Jason Citrin. The hearing was a setup, a hate the social media session. In the front row of the audience were 20 parents of children who had been killed or seriously damaged by criminals using social media. All of the parents wore black. At the beginning of the hearing, the parents stood up and lifted placards above their heads with pictures of their dead children. Then an emotional video was shown, blaming social media for these kids' demise. By the time the six CEOs filed into the room, they had been made to look like murderers. The audience hissed. Two CEOs were bullied by senators into turning around, looking at this hostile audience, and apologizing. The press particularly enjoyed seeing Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg shamed into making an apology. According to CNN, Senator Josh Hawley called on Zuckerberg as a billionaire to compensate the families. Louisiana Republican Senator John Kennedy told the six CEOs, you're in the foothills of creepy. Minnesota Democratic Senator Amy Klobuchar said, I'm so tired of this. It's been 28 years since the start of the internet. We haven't passed any of these bills. She was talking about six bills the committee was hoping to get across the finish line. Bills that have bipartisan support and are written to protect children online. One of those bills, the Protecting Kids on Social Media Act, would set a minimum age of 13 to use social media and would require parental consent for 13 through 17 year olds. I am convinced that a limitation of social media use for kids under 17 would damage the kids and weaken the nation. But the heart of the hearing were the stories of kids damaged or killed by criminals using social media. Riley Rohde was 15 years old when he killed himself. What his mother called a sextortionist had enticed him into sending nude photos of himself, then had threatened to make the photos public if he didn't pay $3,500. Six hours later, he committed suicide. His mother did not blame the sextortionist. Instead, she said that Meta had failed to protect her son from online abuse. Carson Bride was 16 when he hanged himself after being attacked mercilessly, brutally, cruelly on Snapchat by an anonymous gang of bullies who piled so much hate on him that he couldn't take it anymore. His parents did not blame the bullies. Instead, his mother testified that Snap did not respond to her pleas for help. Matthew Minor was 12 years old when he took up the viral TikTok choking challenge and choked himself to death. His parents did not blame the creators of the choking challenge. Instead, they said TikTok did not remove the dangerous videos despite their warnings. Mason Bogart was 15 when he took up the same TikTok choking challenge, and he too succeeded in killing himself. His mother did not blame the creators of the choking challenge. Instead, she said TikTok ignored her requests to take down the videos that influenced her son. And finally, Miriam Rodwan's mother 
testified that the algorithms that drive Instagram and TikTok nearly killed my daughter, Mariam. Curious about healthy day eating, social media sucked her into a black hole of dangerous content, like how to eat less than 500 calories a day, or challenges to prove extreme thinness. Explain Mariam's mother. She spent all four years of high school in and out of hospitals, went into cardiac arrest, and was confined to a wheelchair because of the eating disorder social media triggered TikTok and Instagram made a lot of money off of her pain. These are gut-wrenching stories, and a lot more needs to be done to police criminal acts against both children and adults. But here's a question. If you are mugged on Times Square, do you sue the owner of the sidewalk where the mugging happened, or do you go after the mugger? Hire a lawyer, and he will say, go after whoever has the deepest pockets. This is deplorable advice, and it's going to encourage more muggers to mug more people. The bottom line, don't attack social media. Attack the criminals. This is Howard Bloom speaking to you from the future. It's your job and my job to make. Or, <laughs> want to know why? Ask how. And now, for that infamous little off-button why my chair squeaks underneath me.